Hi, all you Clovers. So my name's Phoebe, and today I'm going to show you this really great feature. It's custom measurements for graphics. So it's going to let you have like custom measurements for where your graphics are placed within your pattern. So it's really great if you need to get that information out and tell like whoever you're sharing this file with, like exactly where to put that graphic on your garment and everything. So really excited to show this to you. Let's jump on in and have some fun while we learn. Okay, so I've got a pretty cool soccer or football uniform over here, right? With some snazzy graphics. And let's just think about this for a second. So you put all your graphics on your shirt. You love the placement. They are great. But you're kind of like, mm, how do I get like this information to my people, right? To all the people that need to know this. Right now, POMs can't do it for you because you can't stop in the middle of a pattern. So what we have done, and let's switch to our 2D window, is with your edit graphic tool over here, you can select your graphic right click and there's this new option over here called custom measurements. You can select that and then you can like place a point anywhere on a pattern segment, like pattern outline anywhere, anywhere that the graphic will, that will hit the graphic. And you can just click, I'm going to do high point shoulder. And then you'll know exactly that placement. So this is 6.829. I know it's hard to see, but trust me. And then also I can do the same. I can right click again, custom measurement. I can like go down here, right? Figure out through here, just where it's at from this armhole, armhole, or I could do from this one. This one seems a little bit more, this one makes a little bit more sense. I can do right from the bottom and then all set. Let's do this like one or two more times. Let's do the back. So again, with the back, I can right click, custom measurement. I can do like center back, right click, custom measurement, an inch from armhole. Great. Now, all of this information is down below in the property editor, right? Cool. And I can also select down here and I'm gonna say like from center back. And then this one, one inch armhole. Great. All right here. So I'll know exactly where it is. You can, you have a few options on how you want to export this out. So you could go to file snapshot 2D window and you can like, of course, get like your pattern outlines. You can show additional information, right? And get all, all the 2D measurements. You can uncheck the other things if you wanted. You could also um, have like a transparent background. You know, you have a lot of options. You can also check on graphic lines so that you see like the bounding box around the graphic, all of that stuff. You have all these options so you can use all like this 2D snapshot to like get this information out, which is really great because then you can put this on your pitch sheet or anything and you can see like, see, it's right here. You can also, this information will also be found if you go to file export and then you go to the tech pack JSON file. So that's great. In the future, you will be able to do the close set. It will be in our close set tech pack. And we'll also have an RPOM, just like not today, but in the future, yes. And another thing I just want you all to know is that it reads it from the bounding box of your graphic. So right now that's like right up against this graphic. So that's great. But if it's a little bit farther away, like how this circle is like here, you see that it goes to the outline, right? not like to the center or um, to the graphics edge. It goes to like the image box and all of that. Same here with the connect. But yeah, 
really great. It's going to help you like get your graphic measurements a little bit faster and easier, hopefully. And yeah, hope you enjoy it. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you guys learned something fun and are excited to like put tons of graphics on garments and like get all those measurements and all of that. If you have any further questions, like let's just use that comment section below. And we have so many Clo 3D designers to help you out and their answer and get back to you. Also, if you want to learn more or just like keep learning or anything like that, keep on our YouTube channel. There's so many great like videos and information for you and all of that. So thanks so much again for watching and have fun building.